Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your save state in Pokemon Leaf Green on an emulator. Due to the missing circuit board and save component, you are unable to continue playing after beating the Elite Four and viewing the credits. I'll show you how to get your emulator to work with the game so that save states can again work. It is slightly complex, so strap in for the next few minutes as I show you how to play past the Elite Four on Pokemon Leaf Green. So here's what usually happens when you finish the game. This is in the credits after beating the Elite Four. Now it says the end and then the save state is supposed to restart the, the cartridge and it's meant to load up to the main menu, which we'll see in just a moment. All right, so now the cartridge is reloaded and it's going to load to the menu. I'm gonna skip the start video I'm going to press start and we're going to see the problem here. The 1M sub circuit board is not installed. So this is the game cartridge and the Game Boy kind of saying, hey, there are no saves here. And then it'll start a fresh game, as you can see here, and it thinks there's no saves or content. So that's the issue here. Alright, so as you'll see here, I've already got all my files together and organised on the screen, which is basically what it'll look like in your folder. To the left over here, I have the Visual Boy Advance files and the Pokemon Leaf Green save. And then over here, I just have um, the game save files, sorry, the save game or SJM files. And I have the Pokemon Leaf Green GBA file, which is the ROM. I have a Pokemon LG tutorial here as well. So for anyone wondering what that is, that's nothing. That's just to put my videos in while making this video. So now that we've seen the issue and had a bit of an introduction to what we can do to fix it, let's run through what we do. So we'll start up Visual Boy Advance like normal. And then we'll open up the ROM which will be Pokemon Leaf Green GBA, which is that file there. Now we'll load it up like normal, confirm that the issue is still there. Might as well make the screen a bit bigger. So we'll go to load and then we want these. So I've got some organized save files here. So I've got um, the rival fight, so just before the rival fight, which means that if I load that, I'll have to beat the rival again after the Elite Four and also the rival fight. So if I load that one, it'll be just after I've beaten Gary um, and won the Pokemon League. And then I've got this one, which is a few moments before the credits end. So we're just going to do after the Elite Four. Now we're immediately going to go to options and in the emulator options, we're going to go down to save type. So it's on automatic. What we want to do is change it to flash and then we want to go to the same area, options, emulator, save type. And instead of flash 64K, it needs to be flash 128K. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to the memory viewer, which is just here, it's come up on my other screen. So what we're gonna to want to do with the memory viewer is type in a certain set of numbers. Alright, now continuing on, we're going to type in the top right box 300, 500, 4. Now we're going to press go and that'll go to this line 300, 500, 4. Now I've already got the game open so it'll say 0, 0 for you. For me, it says 0, 1 because I've already saved it. All you need to do is change 0, 0 to 0, 1. That's all you need to do in this area. Now, it's very important to note that the ROM has to be open here in Visual Boy Advance. And the reason the ROM needs to be open is to actually reach these BIOS files. So um, you won't be able to do anything here if the ROM isn't open. You'll try and change that to a 1. And it just won't let you. It'll make a, a sound and it won't let you. 
So now you've typed in 300, 500, 4, press go. Went to the line here for 300, 500, 4. You've typed 0, 1, and now you just click go again. And then you can close that. Now here's where it gets a little complicated again. So following the method we've just done, we are going to do some saving and some loading. We're going to go to file and we're going to click save and we're going to uh, save over our file for the Elite Four save game. And then we're going to immediately load the Elite Four save game that we've just saved. Now that's well and true and easy. So the next thing we're going to do is like the credits roll. So I'm going to put it in fast forward and I'll cut to the credits or to the end of the credits. And we're going to just go through the save state here. And now it'll say saving. Don't turn off the power. You can skip all that. And now you just uh, fast forward and go through the credits, which I'll probably cut out now. Alright, so we're at the end of the credits now, and this is where you tell the moment of truth. So I'm just going to let the credits sit for a moment and let the size state re completely reload the cartridge. Alright. Now, this is where it should work. So what will happen is you'll press start. And voila, we can now continue on our save. It says my name, the time 29 hours, 24 minutes. I've got 37 in my Pokedex and I've got all eight badges. So I'm going to go ahead and click to continue my save. And we're going to get a recap of our, our conquests. Previously on your quest, you took an Elite Four Agatha's Arbok, um, and so on. Basically, I defeated the Elite Four, and Blue saved the game at this location, Pallet Town. And now you can play again. So that is how to fix your game and keep playing. So he wants me to fill up the Pokedex some more, and you have to get 60 in the Pokedex, and then you can go to the Sevi Islands again. So yeah. I hope I helped you. Enjoy.